guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another full face tutorial video. Now this is one that a lot of people have been requesting. Today's video is going to be a full face of e.l.f. Cosmetics. I get so many requests from you guys to do, you know, reviews and, you know, test out products from e.l.f. because they're so affordable and they're apparently such amazing quality. So I have got a big box of e.l.f. Cosmetics sitting right beside me and today's video is even more exciting because it's actually in collaboration with iHerb. iHerb is a store that you guys have heard me talk about on plenty other of times and I've been shopping and using the service for years but it's essentially a huge online store they stock over 7,000 bath and beauty products and they do ship to 160 countries I especially love it because I can get things shipped here for free to Australia that I usually wouldn't even have access to here in Australia and I wasn't even aware and whoa there's so much stuff in this box I wasn't even aware until recently that they actually stock elf cosmetics um so I was like this is perfect let's do a full face of elf let's do a big sort of like whole tutorial <laughs> so I literally went crazy 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 um like I said earlier, I've been buying things, you know, from I have for a really long time. Brandon gets like his gym supplements off there, um, you know, like protein powder and pre-workout and things like that. He also gets like a lot of vitamins and minerals sort of supplement type stuff from there. Um, I've gotten a lot of K-Beauty products from there. And like I said, like the customer service is amazing. I've never had a bad experience. And um, they do actually provide their customer service in 10 different languages. So it's totally accessible no matter where you are. It's just a really good website that's super easy to use. It's accessible. And like I said earlier, um, if you do spend over like a certain amount, they will ship it to you for free. Most of the time I find it's actually a lot cheaper too in comparison to competing websites. But this box here in front of me is literally full of e.l.f. makeup. There's a bunch of other stuff from other brands in here. I've picked up a bunch from Pixie. They're glow tonic. My friend Jacob like raves on about this. I was like, I have to try it. There's so much e.l.f. makeup in here, guys. Like literally, I've got primer, foundation, powder, concealer, mascara, lips, bronzer, cheeks, highlighter, eyeshadows, everything. <laughs> All right, let's jump into this. Now I've got two primers. Um, I've got the e.l.f. Uh, Paula's Face Primer. Now, like I said, this is a really, really, if you're not familiar with the brand already, it's a really, really affordable brand. Um, and a lot of their products, um, you know, based on reviews, based on things I've heard and based on things I've tried are actually really, really, really good quality, especially for the price. But this is a primer that's going to give me a long lasting matte finish. We all know that I need that. And it's also going to help reduce the appearance of enlarged pores, fine lines. Um, it's got a bunch of vitamins in it as well for the skin. Then as well, I've also got their hydrating under eye primer. Like it's a primer specifically for the under eye area. So it's meant to help stop uh, concealer settling into fine lines and stop it from wearing off. So... I'm, I'm down. <laughs> really, really nice packaging. Um, I did a review on the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation the other day and the packaging is beautiful. It's just here. How nice is that? This foundation is literally like $6. Look at the packaging. It's glass. Okay, so this is this primer. Ooh. Oh, the, oh, that actually smells amazing. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting that. It smells like essential oils oh texture wise it does feel quite nice um i don't know if it actually sets down though does it set down it doesn't really say it's like quite smoothing it's got like that silicon feel hmm. nice now this under eye primer using a brush or finger apply a small amount on clean skin and pat in so i think we'll put it on now before we go in with foundation okay so it's got the consistency sort of like any other primer although it does feel a little bit more lightweight like more like a moisturizer this one doesn't really have a scent to it either. Whenever I ask you guys, you know, what brands do you want to see, you know, me review products from? What brands do you want to see full face tutorials on? It's always e.l.f. Like seriously, everybody loves e.l.f. And to be honest, that's not really a brand I've really like delved too much into in the past. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really excited to actually be playing with like a bunch of their products today. Can I just say this under eye primer feels really nice. Like... I don't feel like I've applied a primer. It just feels like a really hydrating moisturizer and it's left absolutely no, uh, like as I'm rubbing it in, it's not leaving any like oily or greasy residue. Oh my gosh, that's really nice. Huh. It's so nice in fact that I'm going to rub it into the back of my hands. <laughs> yeah, it's like a hydrating moisturizer. Ooh. Ooh, that's so nice. So I'm going to go in with the foundation now. Um, if you haven't seen my full review video on this one, I will link it down below. I did do like a full proper like foundation wear test and review video. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to reveal. If you want to know what I think of it, go and watch that video. <laughs> I will say that this foundation does have a sort of semi-ish interesting scent to it. It kind of smells like sunscreen. So if you aren't a fan, I mean, it's not even the only foundation that e.l.f. has. I do have a bunch of other foundations. Um, but yeah, if you're someone who's like really against like fragranced products, um, just letting you know. 
I will also just say, I hope doesn't only stock e.l.f. Obviously, like they've got a bunch of different, really, really good affordable beauty brands. They've got more expensive beauty brands. Um, it's kind of like a one-stop shop. They do also sell like the Real Techniques brushes and they're so much cheaper on the website, like on the iHerb website than they are here in Australia. Like I'm talking like 60%, 70% cheaper than they are here. <laughs> All right, foundation is blended. We're gonna move on to brows now. I think I do actually have a couple of brow products to try. Yeah, I do. So I've got the e.l.f. gel and powder eyebrow kit and also the e.l.f. lock on liner and brow cream. Um, I have actually used this one before, but I had a different shade. I had the shade Brunette and it was way too warm. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this color goes. You guys will have seen me feature it in a tutorial before. Um, it was such a shame because the formula of it was really, really good, but the color, like it looked dark brown in the pan, but then on my face, it was like red. <laughs> so this is what this one looks like. So there's like a powder and a cream for sculpting. And then this other one that I've got here, glides on smoothly to sculpt, shade and define brows, can also be used as eyeshadow and eyeliner. Oh my gosh. So this one looks like a little pomade, um, like a brow cream. Oh, that one's a really nice cool tone as well. So this is in the shade medium brown. I'm going to go in with the powder first. Oh, it's sort of hard to tell. No, that's the powder. Is that the powder? Yes, it is. <laughs> I was looking at them. They're both like pressed so smoothly. I'm like, which is the cream and which is the powder? The lighter one is the powder. All right, let's see how this goes. Yeah, this one is a much better color. And it was funny too, because when I spoke about the um, brunette shade of it, so many of you were like, no, Nikia, it's a really amazing product. You just need to get a different color. Um, yeah, you guys always know where it's at. So that is what the powder shade looks like. And it's actually really nice to work with. Um, I think because it is pressed so firmly and smoothly in the pan, you know, you kind of dip your brush in and it feels like you're not getting too much product and there's not really much fallout. But then when it's on your brows and when it's on your brush, like it's actually the perfect amount. I don't like brow products that, you know, you touch them with the lightest hand and then you end up with so much product on your brush and then you end up with very scary looking eyebrows. <laughs> it is still slightly on the warmer side, but I don't think it's like to the point where it's not plausible. Let's try the pomade now. This one looks like, oh, really nice and cool toned. Probably gonna have like eyebrows that just are completely different colors. <laughs> oh, mm, I gotta admit, I like the shade of this one better. It's much more cool tone, um, but at the same time, the powder gel one, like it's not bad. Like they're both really nice. It'll be interesting to see how this pomade um, wears during the day with my oily skin. Um, they need to be products that really set down to like a full on like budge proof finish because otherwise they end up everywhere. All right, brows are done. I did end up putting a little of the pomade through this one as well, just so that the color matched because they started to look like a little glaringly, obviously different. <laughs> and we've zoomed in because we're going to work on the eyes. I feel like my hair's driving me nuts. I might tie it up. The hair dramas, they never end. Get rid of that hair, sis. Now I have the e.l.f. eye primer and liner sealer. What is that? That. Line sealer transforms your eyeshadow into waterproof, smudge-proof liquid eyeliner. Oh my gosh, it's like a two-in-one or is it double-ended? I love I've got some really innovative like multi-use products. It seems like really clever stuff. What is? It's like double-ended. So this side is the eye primer. Okay, cool. And then this side. Oh gosh, it's done up tight. Oh wow, that's like the transformer, like the eyeshadow sealer. Huh. I'm going to start off by applying the eyeshadow primer. Um, it looks really pigmented from looking at the stick, but there's not like a huge amount of color payoff on the lid. The consistency kind of feels like a concealer. Oh, I might even go with a brush. It kind of hurts my eyeballs that way. Yeah, I think I prefer that. Picking it up on a brush and applying it. Oh, you also get much um, stronger color payoff as well. Um, I'm very finicky. I really like eyeshadow bases that have color um, because I've got, you know, darkness. I've got capillaries sort of on my eyelids and I don't like to see any of that coming through the shadow. I like it to sort of all be concealed. I'm sure many of you don't have the same issues with your eyelids that I have with mine. I've seen your photos, guys. I see your thumbnail pictures. When you leave comments, I stalk your Instagram profiles. I know how gorgeous you all are. 
Don't try and deny it. <laughs> eyeshadows, I've got a couple of options here. I've got the e.l.f. Clay Eyeshadow Palette in Necessary Nudes. This looked really pretty, like the photo of it online. Richly pigmented and silky smooth powders blend effortlessly onto the lid. Infused with cowl and clay to help create long-lasting wear. Oh, we all know I need that. I've got oily lids. Oh, I love this. It's like these cute little compact all-natural colors. How nice is that? Oh, I really like that. And I've also got this one here, the e.l.f. California Baked Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, the packaging of this is really nice. <gasps> oh, okay. This looks beautiful. Look at some of these shimmers, like this one and this one. Oh, let's give them a swatch. Definitely not getting as much payoff um, as I would like with that, unfortunately. Oh, here, okay. Designed to be used wet or dry. So for a subtle effect, use dry, or for a vibrant effect, use wet. I think I'm gonna do majority of the look with this one. We'll create a really nice, cool tone, smoky eye. You guys will be shocked and horrified. You'll be like, Nikia, cool tone? Didn't even recognize you. <laughs> so first up, I'm gonna take this shade here, and this is like a beigey, bone matte kind of color. And I'm just gonna sweep that one through the crease. Oh, that's actually a really nice transition shade. And it's actually a lot darker, like it's coming across a lot darker on my skin than it appears in the palette. Oh, my hair is out of control. Look at these baby hairs. Why? Yeah. No, sit down, behave yourself, otherwise you're gonna get detention. All right, so working that one through the crease, I might actually go back in and build it up slightly. I really like this little palette. Um, obviously I can't comment on the shimmer formulas yet or anything, but it's cute, it's compact, it's got a mirror for traveling. Um, you know, the selection of colors in it are really nice. Like you look at it and you know what to do kind of a thing. Um, it's nice. So this one's blending okay. You do kind of have to dig your brush in like a fair bit to really get like a stack of product though. I'm gonna go into the deeper brown now. So I picked it up on my brush and I've tapped off the excess and I'm gonna work that in the outer corners. I'm not gonna go like for like a crazy full on eyeshadow look today. I kind of want to keep it kind of neutral-ish. So that brown actually has blended out really well, you guys. Not going to lie. It blended out a lot better than I thought it would. It's a really smooth formula. It's quite a dry formula and normally dry formulas are really difficult to blend. But despite the fact that it's more of like a dry, less of a buttery formula, it actually blends out really well. Definitely can easily create, you know, like a cool tone smoky eye with this. And I'm kind of going back in directly in the outer corner and then sort of just building that up a tiny little bit more just to add a little bit more definition and depth to my eyes i don't have the biggest eyes you guys know this any help i always appreciate i'm gonna take this color here now this is kind of like an olivey kind of brown um and it's a shimmer um it's more of like a demi satin as opposed to like a full-on shimmer though it's nearly like a mustardy kind of a brown color Oh, this is such a good palette for like an everyday natural look. Doesn't really look shimmery at all on the lids. Looks shimmery in the pan, but on my eyes, it looks like a matte. It is a really nice color though. Oh, I should have used this as a transition color as well. You know what? It's never too late. I'm going to work that one through the lower lash line as well. Just keeping it light. Like, I don't want to go too dark and smoky through there. Okay, moving on to eyeliner and mascara now. Um, I've got the e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner Black as Black. This one had amazing reviews. And the Lash Extending Black Mascara. Okay, so this is the eyeliner. Oh, hello. Oh, I wish I could put the lid on the end. That bothers me when you can't do that. Okay, I'm going to try. Oh, it's actually really pigmented. Ha! Huh, it's easy to use in what I thought it would be too, because I was looking at this going, that's huge, this is not going to end well, but it's actually um, really easy to use. So I'm just going to be tight lining today. Um, it's super, super black, and it's actually a lot easier to create like a very thin line than I originally thought, like I said. Okay, so moving on to mascara now. Um, this one says, achieve longer looking lashes, nutrient rich formula helps condition lashes and define applicator bristles create an even... Uh, Ever. Even coating. Oh, love the brush. Okay, really, these are my favorite kinds of brushes. Love the brush. I'm not the hugest fan of like rubber brushes. It's it's these ones. Oh, this one's got little fibers in it too. I can see them. Um, little fibers to help, I guess, extend the length of your lashes. Now, as we all know, I unfortunately don't have the best eyelashes to see if a mascara works. 
For me, it's more about do they separate my lower lashes and make them look long and does it not smudge during the day because you guys know that I'm a, a lash junkie. Oh, this makes my lower lashes look really long actually. It's not so much like a volumizing formula, but really, really lengthening. You can see the difference between the lower lashes on this eye and the lower lashes on this eye. But yeah, I'm a lash junkie, so I'm just gonna quickly go chuck some lashes on off camera and then I'll be right back. All right, so eyes are done and this is what they are looking like. Um, I'm, I'm really happy and I love that it's like a soft, natural kind of everyday-ish, cool tone, smoky brown eye. That palette's a win for me. That little mini one, great for traveling. Um, I'm really happy with that. So I've got the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer in the shade Light. Um, this one only came in three shades from memory. Um, the shade range wasn't great. Oh, it's really stuck in the box. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, I thought it was longer. Um, this is this one here. So helps hide imperfections, minimize fine lines. It's got a bunch of stuff in it for firming and smoothing the skin. Okay, I'm going to apply this how I would usually apply my concealer. So this is the shade Light. And this is not... It came in like fair, light and medium. So this is the middle shade. Um, I probably could have gotten away with getting the fair shade even. Um, cause it's not, I like my concealer to be a little bit lighter to sort of help highlight. Um, as far as the formula goes, it's quite smooth. Like it does feel quite smoothing. Oh, it blends out really well though. Oh gosh. It actually looks really smooth on the skin. Oh, that's nice. I'm definitely going to pick it up in fair, I think. Yeah. Okay. This is really easy to blend out. It looks extremely smooth on the skin. I'm going to pick it up in the fair shade because, for you know, from like first impression, it's a really nice formula. Okay. Now to set it all down, I've got the e.l.f. HD powder, um, high definition. <laughs> I said that really weird. High definition loose powder creates soft focus effect on the skin, helps mask fine lines and imperfections for a radiant looking complexion. So this is the packaging. Packaging is really nice. All of the packaging like of all of these products is really nice. I will say that. Okay, so I've got the powder in the lid. Oh, it's very, very, very soft. Picking it up on a blending sponge. I'm gonna push that into the skin. Oh, it's very smoothing. Oh my gosh. Look at how that's really gotten rid of all of that texture underneath that eye. Whoa. Now, I'm not baking. You guys have heard me talk about, you know, sort of applying a powder like this before. I pretty much push it into the skin with a sponge. It just, it makes products last so much longer and it makes things look so much smoother as opposed to just dusting it on with a brush. Um, and I typically will only do this through the T-zone and then I'll use a brush for everywhere else because it's sort of like through the T-zone in these areas of my cheeks where I do have texture that I like to kind of get rid of. This might actually be my favorite product that we've used. Um, maybe not. I'm not sure. Okay, next up for cheeks, I've got a couple of products here. So I've got the e.l.f. Contour Palette. I've got the Aqua Infused Blush and Bronzer. And then I've got this pretty looking thing here, the Baked Highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. It looks so nice. I've heard really good things about the e.l.f. Contouring Palette, so let's try that first. Packaging again is really nice, really sleek. Like they've done so well with the packaging of these. Okay, so this looks like a shimmery highlight color. Yep. Oh, that's actually really pigmented. Um, then like a light color for highlighting, like a matte, and then a warm contour color and a cool contour color. I'm going to mix the warm and the cool contour colors together. Oh my gosh, they're so smooth. For something that's so affordable, that's pretty damn good. Blending it up through the hairline. I'm starting to understand why you guys adore this brand so much. It's not patchy. It's not like chunky. Um, you know, you don't pick up like way too much product and end up with like a clump of color somewhere. It's actually really easy to work with. That gets my tick of approval. Definitely. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Let's go into the blush and bronzer duo. Now, I have got one of these, I thought, already. I don't think... I mean, it looked the same. It was a blush and a bronzer, but it... I didn't know it was aqua infused. Oh, no. This one's definitely different. Oh, this one's shiny. Oh, I like the packaging of this too. Infused with purified water and vitamin E. Duo gives skin a radiant glowing look. Thanks to cushiony color. 
Huh, I'm gonna try a little of the bronzer in there. Oh, wow, oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is like a gel to powder formula as well. Oh, oh okay, Alf isn't playing. Um, I was gonna try the bronzer. I'm like low-key a bit scared. You know what? The formula feels very similar to the Too Faced Sweet Peach, like the Peaches and Cream collection. You know those bronzers and blushes? They're quite soft. <gasps> okay, this is nice. Oh, you guys, this might be my favorite product out of everything. It feels wet, like strangely wet in the pan, but then you blend it in with a brush and it goes to a powder. Look how bronzed I am! Oh my gosh, that's really nice. Let's try the blush. Get rid of most of the excess. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful soft color. I love this product. Look how nice that looks. It's such a different formula to anything I've ever used. It's like, hopefully you can see. See how it like looks wet where I've touched it? Can you see that? And then it goes to like a powder on the skin, but it doesn't go to like a normal feeling powder. It's like it melts in. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna need to get these in like literally every other color. It is super pigmented though, that's one thing. Like you kinda have to go easy, otherwise you get too much. That's really, really, really nice though. Definitely standout fave so far. So we're going into the highlighter now. This looks so pretty, honestly. I'm going to pick it up on a highlighting brush. Oh, that's so soft. That's actually real. I love how my cheeks are looking. <laughs> Elf, come through. I've got these stupid little pimples. And the highlighter is like making them stand out <laughs> i would say the formula of this is similar to the hourglass ambient lighting powders like it's a really soft flattering glow it doesn't look like an obvious chunky highlighter does that make sense I'll put some on my brow bones oh okay i love this as well maybe do it in here because why not then moving on to lips i've got the matte lip color in the shade nearly nude i do have some other colors here as well um, I've got natural and then I've also got a lipstick in Ravishing Rose. This looks really pretty. Let's try Nearly Nude first. Love, 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 love the packaging of this. Gorgeous. Love that it's also like a hybrid between a lip liner and a lipstick. Oh, and the formula is awesome. Oh, and I love the color. <laughs> I feel like the second half of this tutorial, things are going well. I do have really dry lips at the minute though. It's winter here in Australia and I don't know, it's just wreaking havoc on my lips. It's really easy to use. I love that it doubles as a lip liner and a lip color. You guys know I'm lazy and I love products like that. Mm, I really like that. Beautiful matte lip color. I've been kind of into glossy lips lately though. I want to put some gloss on. It doesn't look like I've actually got an e.l.f. gloss. Um, I have got a bunch of other products that I got from iHerb though, so let's try something else. So I've got a lip gloss here from the brand Azalik, Azalik Cosmetics. Ultra hydrating lip gloss is for anyone wanting to add a gorgeous sheer color with a glossy shine. This looks nice and the color is Dusty Rose. Oh, that's so pretty. You know, oh my gosh, that freakishly actually perfectly matches this lip color. Oh, it smells freaking amazing. Yum. Oh, that's what we want. Oh my gosh, this lip gloss tastes good too. <laughs> yes. I haven't had breakfast yet and I'm low-key super hungry. I guess we could take our hair out now. Now I've just got one more thing left to test and it is the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set Setting Spray. This is another product that I've had a lot of requests to try. Um, this fine clear setting spray helps makeup stay put and helps control shine for beautiful looking skin. Yeah, I need a bit of shine control in my life. The packaging of this is insane. Guys, e.l.f. is killing it with their packaging. Really nice packaging. Okay, what's the spritzer like? Oh, doesn't really have a scent. All right. Oh, but it's got a really good spritzer on it. I've just sprayed that over all my skin. Just let it dry down. 
Now I am going to be wearing this makeup all day, so I am going to be able to let you guys know how everything goes. Does anything fade? Does it last? Does the mascara smudge, all that kind of stuff. Um, so check the description box um, down below and yeah, all of the information will be down there and also all of the links to all of the products that I used. What do you guys think of this look? Like I feel like it's like very Kim Kardashian vibes, like smoky cool tone brown eyes, really light pale pink lip and super bronzy. But I hope that you enjoyed today's video, guys. Thank you so much to all of you who have been requesting a full face of e.l.f. Cosmetics. If there are any other e.l.f. products that you wanna see me test, as always, pop them down below in the comments and I'll be sure to pick them up and try them out for you on camera. And as I said earlier, all of the products that I use will be linked down below and you can get them all over at iHerb. Um, it's just a really awesome, simple to use website. They ship things fast. And like I said, if you purchase over a certain amount, they'll ship it to you for free. But yes, this is a finished look. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. I love you all so, so much much and I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye!